Welcome back to part two of episode 146. It's time for the hot tags of the week. Some different things that have gone on that are interesting or weird or important or whatever the case may be. Let's just throw some shit out there. Batista may not return to WWE because of the success of Guardians of the Galaxy, and it makes a little bit of sense, but I think people are jumping the gun on that a little bit, and that's not a pun with James Gunn. It's actually me just coming up with that out of the top of my head. Um, sure Batista was. is somebody who is not going to be the biggest fucking movie star out there. So even though he might think that, and a lot of other people might think that he is going to have a huge amount of success coming out of this, it's not going to happen. Uh, he'll be back eventually. And WWE is just kind of butthurt that they weren't a bigger presence when it came to this movie because they wanted to be. I'm sure that they wanted marvel to try to get in touch with them and do some cross promotional and stuff like that i would too so what do you guys think about this is batista going to come back or is he going to get too much of an ego and decide that he doesn't want to do this anymore or whatever well they they did do a crossover remember when magneto came on monday night raw <laughs> uh i i don't remember magneto um but i do remember a certain damian sandow I don't know who you're talking about. I, I think I he's going by Damien think... Miz now. Oh, that guy. Yeah. We're going to forget that stellar performance Batista gave on Smallville, huh? <laughs> That's very true. I actually remember reading some reports that Batista was all pissy that WWE wasn't promoting his movie more, so eh, maybe they have more... Maybe they just have themselves to blame, but you don't know what to read. You don't know what you're reading is true anymore. As far as him not coming back to the WWE, eh, it doesn't bother me. He had a few good matches since he came back, but I wasn't craving to see Batista next week on Raw. All right, we got ODB has left TNA Wrestling, another person who can't get their contract settled in a way that they're up for. They lose another person in the Divas division after losing all these people in the main event and the mid-card and the tag team and all that. And uh, tying that into another thing that's going on TNA-related here, apparently they've got a backup plan of some velocity network or something where they'd have to scale back even more than what they're doing now. And that's like the emergency. We can't get another deal from somebody else plan, but uh, it's better than nothing. Right. I guess so. I don't know. Step up from YouTube at the very least. Who cares? Just waiting for TNA to die now. Well, I have reports that the meeting between ODB and TNA went like this. Um, can you guys, pay me with money this time no oh then i'm leaving i'm pretty sure it went hey guys when i sign my contract this is going to entitle me to money right and they went <laughs> uh not a chance well, did, did, did they uh, not go with velvet sky this week as well did they or this month uh maybe i don't know i think she left when bully left i'm not too sure sean you don't you half an hour ago you only just found out the puppet lashley's the tna heavyweight champ. well you know <laughs> I keep up with Velvet Sky News related stuff, I like to... He's on birdswatch.com. Oh, yeah. www.shaunessybirdwatch.co.uk uh, I, I am subscribed to that as well, so it's interesting. Does anybody else have any other opinions about this TNA crap? It. Can we just, like, stop talking about them? I know I've brought this up before. but like, uh, I think we've all brought this up before. But the more we talk about them, the more energy we give them. Let's just let them go. We, we already had our eulogy. Why, why we got to keep this going? We well, said our like, goodbyes. Just let them rest. It's like no. that ex that uh, it's been a part of your life for so long that, you know, you always bring it up in conversation, so you, but you really want it to leave. Yeah, and it's then the only way to rectify things. the situation is to hit her over the head with a shovel and bury her five miles out of town. So that's what we gotta do. Yeah, then, and then when it's... they come looking for a suspect, you hide the shovel with the blood stains on it. So then you gotta hide the shovel. They gotta buy another shovel to bury <laughs> that shovel. It's uh, exactly. just a whole mess. But listen, if it means getting rid of TNA, I'm all for it. I think it's fitting that they're going to be on a TV network called Velocity. That's WWE's like D level show back yeah, in the day. So <laughs> yeah, very fitting. They're gonna be going on Shotgun Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually better than what TNA puts out so I'm not going to give them that much credit uh, RVD's finishing up with WWE for this run again so he'll be taking a little bit of time off woo you're pissed about this aren't you uh, Wigo 
Um, got to smoke some weed. <laughs> Shrug. Shrug. <laughs> Didn't you point out that he even shrugged? Yeah, he got, he got hit by Cesaro in the face and shrugged. It was amazing. <laughs> Oh Surprised he didn't follow it up with the the RVD uh, finger point thing. <laughs> Probably did. I know I didn't notice. <laughs> uh, we've got two injury reports here. John Cena might be dealing with some major neck problems that are lingering and looking for some more time off. And Ryback tweeted out, "Going away for a while to get some stuff fixed." Sorry, Punk. And it was an image of his action figure standing over a CM Punk action figure for some fucking reason. <laughs> but now they're working with this idea that he's going to be out for injury for something. I'm not 100% sure what. Uh, so we won't be able to see uh, the big guy for a little while, I guess. Big Just guy. as he was getting over. This is ridiculous. Now, you know, maybe I think maybe they realize that. So they're going to take him off TV, rebrand him a bit, and then bring him back. Maybe that's what the plan is. Yeah, he's going to come back as Roy Front. <laughs> you know, I really hope when he comes back, he's just like, I'm back. And something. Joke abort, joke abort. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have one other thing that I wanted to mention, and then we'll see if there's anything else. Uh, Vince Russo is going to be doing an Ask Me Anything on Reddit Thursday Ask morning, him. 10 a.m. Oh, that's gimmick <laughs> infringement on JD. <laughs> 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 Who's JD? You want about Jerome? Ooh, no! I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ask him. <laughs> You're gonna shout it like Peyton at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> that was Peyton. I was trying to figure out who the fuck did that. I thought it was you. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys want to ask uh, Russo whatever the fuck you want to ask him, that's 10 a.m. Eastern, Thursday morning, uh, Reddit. The AMA subreddit. Hit him with a bunch of hard questions. Let's see what he responds with. Although he does say, all I ask is that you keep it respectable, please. Yeah, that's going to fucking happen. <laughs> yeah, so I take it he's not going to answer my question of why the fuck are you a fucking idiot? I don't know. That might still be respectable under his umbrella. We are talking about Vince Russo, after all. I'll just put in a quote. Me not being respectable is a swerve, and then he'll like it. <laughs> so is there anything else you guys want to talk about that happened so far this week that I didn't mention uh, remember that time Sin Cara beat Del Rio ah, that was great remember the time Del Rio shit himself oh wait he didn't the one thing I wanted him to do motherfucker maybe he'll do it if he wears a mask in AAA ah, he can't wear a mask though I want to see his face when he does it no, but, but, but what if he shits his pants and that uh, causes him to throw up inside the mask? <laughs> I thought you were going to say, what if he shits his mask? <laughs> oh my God. If you can pull out that, then I'll definitely be interested in seeing. All I can say is it's a shame that AJ and Paige storyline is in the PG era. Oh, they're taking it to different levels that they haven't been doing recently. If, if this was the Attitude Era, they would be in a hotel room making out, you know? They might still do that. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, tell us what you guys thought about all these different topics. Leave those comments below, and we are going to take a little bit of a break before we get into the main event. Rustle coming up, part three. Rustle! <laughs> 